Good day, everybody. I represent a company that is called Automata Associates. Um, interestingly, we actually, <clears throat> we registered this company in Nigeria in 1993, uh, but it remained dormant until 19, I mean, uh, 2017. Uh, and since then we've been in software development and we, uh, we've been doing some very exciting uh, projects down here. Our flagship project or product is actually selected based on these three criteria. Uh, and those of you who are interested is what is called market creating innovation. You can see a FUSA or JOMOS uh, uh, TED show, uh, which it presented in June, 2019, that may guide you. It has to be a transformational infrastructure uh, in the mold of BVN. For those who don't understand what BVN is, uh, the biometric uh, uh, project for Nigeria in the banking sector. It should be a solution that several millions of customers will be able to use and assess. Uh, and it also is built based on uh, our focused customer, which is uh, the SME market. And what qualifies me to, to want to do a national IT infrastructure? I was co-author of the financial uh, FSS 2020, uh, which did all the work, the grand work of uh, the financial, the banking industry transformation uh, in 2000, <clears throat> in early 2000. Um, I also, assisted the central bank uh, as the advisor to implement the real-time gross settlement uh, early 2000 also. That was between 2000 and 2003. I assisted uh, in the creation of the national auto, uh, automated clearing system. I was also the consultant to the driver's license. Uh, and I was the consultant and project director on the BVN project for the banking industry in Nigeria. So what project have we there for, or what product have we therefore decided to create? When you look at the SME market, we're talking of huge number of, uh, of customer base uh, that are unable to use technology, uh, principally because of the cost of IT, the skills that they require to be able to to run the technology. And also, uh, there are not many services or solution that are tailored towards this sector. Uh, they are also hampered by the poor infrastructure that we have in Nigeria, most especially power and telecoms. Therefore, what would the solution be? It has to be a cloud-based solution to resolve issues around the IT support and to also make sure that the cost uh, is affordable. We're also bundling this solution to deliver a service to reduce cost. Uh, and we're using smart devices. Uh, this is a device that will power a solution. If you can see this, uh, we already, <clears throat> there's a prototype that we've built in conjunction with uh, a partner in China to reduce cost. We're also talking to two partners so that they can provide the bundle power and the power will just be a data park, uh, a data bank that can uh, power this device, maybe two or three of them for up to 10, between 10 and 12 hours. Uh, and we're also talking to the telecoms industry so that they can, uh, we can bundle their product in uh, for, the, for the data that is required for the solution to work. Our solution is called Business Cloud. Uh, it's principally just an ERP, but that has been re-engineered completely, uh, not only into uh, the cloud environment, but also to support uh, our device. There are two types of device uh, this is the one that we believe most of the users are going to use. And for those who have um, uh, shops and uh, uh, 
uh, we've presented uh, another type of device, which is a bit bulky. That's why I didn't bring it here today. In addition to this software, we will also be providing uh, uh, integrated business support, including accounting, core operation distribution across the, across the network. What's the size of the market? There are over 100 SMEs in Africa, uh, and 37% of that is based in Nigeria alone. So we have about 37 million, uh, uh, about 37 million uh, prospective clients in Africa, I mean, in Nigeria alone. The market size itself uh, is as big as $12 billion annually. Uh, we are not targeting the uh, the hundred percent we are only targeting about five percent within the uh, first five years and this will translate only in the software uh about 44 million dollars you have one minute left sir this is our target <coughs> revenue model what are we seeking we are asking for five million dollars to help us complete the product development we're about 75 80 percent done uh, we need to set up our support and marketing infrastructure. And we also will be using part of the money to uh, get the first 5,000 units of this, which are the ones we're going to use in year one. We believe that we'll be able to get 75% uh, ROI for our investors uh, within the first five years. Thank you. <laughs>